Yes, yes, finally, 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 of course, we are back again with another Dragon Ball video. So yeah, for part two, we get the six year anniversary. Um, the kind of trend going on a little bit. I know last year we had the part two of our art, like, you know, for the um, TRs, I think it was TRs. Um, this year we had the assets, of course, for the um, Goku and Vegeta for the asset animation. It's kind of a little bit different this year, but I kind of still like it though, of course. Um, I originally wasn't really going to do a video for this because there's not that much kind of in here. I mean, there's actually more people over here. Um, there's a lot in here. There's a, um, a little bit here. I know there's still like a lot of do overall from part one. Part one was insane. We got a whole bunch of leaks, just news and stuff like that straight. It was crazy, insane, insane, insane. But of course, like I said, um, we are back, of course, um, with the um, anniversary of part two. Um, you know, the Doki slash, you know, X, you know, Unity, whatever. So, yeah. Of course, you know, Doki with PR is going to have like the translations and stuff like that. Um, again, a little simple stuff like that, of course, like I said previously. Um, just like overall though, there's a lot um, to do here. I know we have like team co-op campaign missions. We got like, you know, the deck 62 ticket, basically just doing all the special missions like it was last year, I believe. Again, pretty much almost the same simple stuff like we had last year. Um, yeah, really easy, really simple to go through and stuff like that. So yeah, of course we got special missions, you know, log of special missions, that's all it always is. These are just how to get like all the next six ticket stuff. So yeah, I think 18 um, of these missions, I believe, have the, yeah, because right there I said, yeah, you get five dragon stuff for part two. It specifically says you will get 18 more 66 tickets. Of course, like I said, part one will have a um, set amount that, like, you know, have a cutoff point, like, you know, 20 or whatever. Part two could have, like, you know, 18, like, right now. The part two will probably have the last one, I believe, or the last couple for missions. So it's simple, like, just again, just doing like missions and stuff like that. It's really simple, really easy, though. On the Universe 7 event, of course, the Master Roshi event have been updated, so you can get the um, other teams for 18 and Krillin and the Master Roshi and Tien unit, they're gonna get, they have their Dark Awakenings now, of course, Master LR Master Roshi, they finally have him, he has Awakening, so yeah, they take 50 of his medals from the, 50 new medals from the Awaken, I think Zabasu was like, I like that last year as well, because again, he's just filling out, um, Matthew, Roshi just literally filling out, is filling out Zabasu's time slot from last year, um, you gotta go to that ZZA, go do it right after this video, um, we got Structure Event, has got an update, we have Beerus, Champa, we got a couple more in there, I can't remember the other ones, um, I think like Greek you know, I don't know. I forgot the names. New Fan Dragon Ball History like, Universe 7 units. Um, I think for part 3 we'll probably get another one. That's how it was last year as well. Mm -hmm. Shit, my camera over. Because part 3 last year we had that as well, so that was a really simple and easy. Um, we got a new raid like event right here. Uh, we got a, uh, you know, um, the Carter actually, I did see the Carter for this guy. Um, this is, um, I believe, not Bone Baguette, I'm thinking somebody else. Um, Yaya Anaraza. Uh, Yaya Raza, I forgot that. And one of the two. Um, this was um, the unit that um, it was like seven, it was seventeen Blue Goku and Vegeta, Ultimate Gohan and um, Golden Freezer, the Angel Golden Freezer. They're all flying off this guy. So yeah, on Team Cloud missions, I guess like how it was for the four year. Basically, Golden have about JP can send him energy like put them like a Shimmer raid for four year if you weren't around for that time. And it was by the first for Goku when they got that. So yeah, um, I remember that because I made two videos for that. I believe, so that was kind of cool. Um, new legendary summon unit again. Last year was not teased as um, well. So yeah, again, like I said, last year we got the stuff kind of early. I believe it was on Valentine's Day. That's when we got Relly Chile and Lemo, and of course the Black Info. Um, I think I came back from being over my friend's house. I don't remember because the complete year last year was kind of um because I did leave on the tenth. No, that's on the ninth. Came back that night, did a video. Then part two, we got part two on the tenth. Um. I was both simple and easy and stuff like that, so of course, yeah. Um, I don't remember, it was a leap year, so of course, you know, this year, you know, 29th, 28th, for February, you know, it's kind of weird, you know, leap year and stuff like that. Kind of fuse off a little bit, kind of blends in a little bit. Yeah, Dragon's Zone sales, and that's pretty much it, honestly, for part two. So, yeah, like I said, Blood Nets, unit, they didn't show it off for, like, you know, Dental Celebration either. I think it was for Go, I remember specifically for LR, it was LR Android 17, 8, 16, 17, 18. I remember when they came out and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, I definitely remember that. Um, no, of course, like I said, new Anna Rosa, like, you know, um, grab, um, Team Cloud campaign. So, like, yeah, it's probably, like, you know, global helping out with JP and stuff like that, you know, sending energy, you know, defeating you know, Anna Rosa and his new vice versa for global when it comes out in July. So, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, anniversary stuff for, um, <laughs> JP and global is definitely at the same time. <laughs> Even though, like, you know, like six, six months later. But, yeah. So, yeah. Again, how to get a six, six ticket for this one, basically just doing, like, again, just doing these missions is super simple, super easy. I'll probably do, again, I think last year I did this, this is as well, oh, I did this as well. I mean, we're guys on um, LRs about that, you know, we got ZZA. I did go over how to get the six, six tickets then. So, yeah, I, I come on that in the one big video because, again, that would have been really short if it was separate. But, um, it was separate, but separately. Yeah, okay. I mean, how am I getting really weird? Uh, it's not me, maybe it's me. So, yeah, um, like I said last year as well, I definitely remember that because I did go over how um, for global actually specifically it went Goku but that was easy I definitely remember this. Um I did have it oh, get, I did go over how to get the 66 50 50 ticket so that was simple and easy right there. Um Plus, we got LR Roshi and stuff like that. Pretty much went over my um, breakdown video. He's really insane. He's really good. I really don't feel like he needs EZA. Maybe his leader skill, but um, his art is amazing. Though. Probably one of the best 
yeah, he has to be like one of the best free play LRs right now, so yeah, um, probably in the you know, Z tier or whatever, because he is actually really good, um, and stuff like that, so yeah, I love this part, it's probably the best Roshi I really wanted the most, like, for an LR and stuff like that, everybody really wanted it, especially in Japan, they love Roshi, that episode where, um, Roshi just knocked out, like, what, three of the universe four members, um, I think a three, of, was it three or four of them, I think it was three of them, um, yeah, three of them. Um, I think the one with the talisman, and of course, I think it was like Gandalf. He transforms like this big, like bird like creature. Um, of course, he had lightning around him because he was trying to shock him. Um, Matt's Roshi, so that's why the lightning is like that is there. Um, is it his an animation? I don't believe it is. So, yeah, um, like I said, though, I really majority went over him and stuff like that in my breakdown video. I was really impressed with him. Yeah, because it's a really good unit, in my opinion, though. Um, Again, he's going to be mainly for Turtle School and stuff like that, of course, like I said. Um, if you have two or more Turtle School category allies on the team, I believe he can get his access to or No, just lose one. Yeah, get, they can't get his seven times. Again, a free-to-play version of basically the active skill. Uh, yeah, because I think with, with B-Pen, she had an active skill. It's very first ever unit, free-to-play unit, just unit in general, slash free-to-play unit to have an active skill. Makes sense because they, they want to introduce it there. And last year, you know, we had the first ever LREZA. Uh, that just broke the game. Like, oh my gosh, LRE is they're gonna go 160 or whatever. Um, no, they didn't change like the, they did, they just changed like the, um, it just literally changed leader skill, passive, and that's it, like, stuff like that. It was simple, easy, didn't need to do that much, so yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, Roshi though, really impressed, really good with him and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, this is, I believe, the, s the medals to get him is up to 50 of them from this new event and stuff like that. Um, it has gotten updated, like I said previously. That's super simple, easy. Um, this one is the new Krillin 18, went over them already. They're actually really good as well, changing physical to 8 orbs and stuff like that. Again, another good orb changer for, um, um, Universal, um, for, like, Universal Survival Saga slash, you know, per represent, rep, um, uh, reps of Universal 7, which didn't need it, though, or if you didn't need another you know, new orb changer. I know a lot of people were kind of mad slash unsatisfied with the AGL Krillin, because AGL, uh, AGL Krillin is some little counterpart for the Kyle Kingdom Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta LR. Um, a lot of people were really mad about that though, but it didn't really matter though, honestly, in my opinion though. He actually still was really good though. Again, Krillin got a lot of respect last year, even so this year, because we had no Krillin Krillin until like the Balance Celebration came up. He very much screaming to stop it once. But he's doing that right now, so yeah. Um, this one, I think, is the new Roshi and Tien. They're actually really good as well. Again, they could potentially be easiest for part three, because that's what it's kind of like off to. But it's Roshi's and just go, because I think last year Goku Black was 77%. Um, it literally, dang, yeah, Roshi had a better leap skill. I feel like they could not give him easy A, because he's already good. He doesn't. Roshi, if, if they get Roshi and LR, Roshi and easy A, he'd be like the best, probably, free play unit LR or whatever in the game, probably at that point, because he already does so much. He's, he's literally like a simple LR for free, essentially, though. So, yeah. And plus, uh, you know, the big theory right now would be Pan. She's getting easy A. Because, you know, the whole Ichiban collab figures and stuff like that, the, um, they got push missions or those for b Pan's event. They got no more medals that they can get, so they can get b Pan up to SA20. You can get more copies for her and get, like, not more copies, they can get more medals and stuff like that, and just in case you didn't get the first time, or you just, you know, you didn't have, like, the right resources, or you just, um, you know, like it or whatever. Um, that's the big theory going on right now for part three. Um, I can't honestly see that, though, because Goku Black didn't, ever had an EZA go on, it was going to get LR go on an EZA. Um, so for some boy, LR go, um, go on EZA. I mean, they get this Goku with EZA for this thing. That kind of would make sense though. So, um, do I do a Goku? Um, he's pretty okay. Again, again, they're dire. Like, they're gonna do like Warp Zoom for a 7 UTA. New West Roshi event has been updated. Of course, you can email for Krillin 18, Roshi and Tian. Um, again, just gonna go up against everybody who fought and like the tournament of power and stuff like that. Yeah, we're Brian. We need those uh, mommy milkers out. So, yeah, mommy milkers. My guy, new trend for that. So, yeah. A new 17 and 18 support um, movie uh, film right there. So, you can get that from this event. Again, super simple, really easy. I think this one right here is, I believe. The new event for Master Roshi. only a couple more stages though, like I said, I'm um, getting the metal from the last fight against Jiren. I wonder if it's a manga reference. Um, by the way, if you want to cover your ears, um, I am about to say a big manga reference. Roshi in the manga did, was dodging Jiren's attacks though, so I kind of can see that a little bit though. That's actually really nice. I like that little bit of reference there, so yeah. That'd be um, really cool to cover that. The thing right here is, I believe, the, um, the um, characters he fought in the Terminal Power. I know this was Gandalf's the transforming guy. We get to see a transforming version of this guy. I actually do like his design though too. The whole like bird electric light creature. Um then of course she had like the evil talisman and stuff like that. She reminded me the um that armor from like what Little Mermaid. Kind of that a little bit though. But yeah. Yeah, there you go. I like that she was a girl and that's where she was like, yeah. Forehead flex. Yeah, the new um this is the new um I believe stage for the um Infinite Dragon Ball history. Again, part three we could see a new one right here. Everybody's been theorizing that, you know, against all the other guys' instructions, even though we already have the new event already. For it specifically, though, sorry, I'm looking up here. I'm looking at some of those. I'm, I'm, I'm being distracted by now. So, yeah, I'm um, on top of that again. Like I say, it's all Warriors of Universe 7. Um, part 3 will probably have another one. I have no idea what they could do. Like, you know, um, because I know last year we had like, you know, the first part. I'm everything for Global as well. I'm mainly mainly for Global, um, because I do mean Global. Um, part one or part, no, part two had, um, I think it was Dragon Ball Super, Broly movie. Then, then part three had, um, the 
Future Trunks Arm Saga. Which I did all that in one go though. The Future Trunks Arc. So yeah, I did all that in one go though. But it's actually really simple and really easy. The first one was difficult, the second one's gonna be easy. I guess this one's I heard this one's pretty easy as well, like I've seen a lot of that videos for it. Not that much though, a little bit just all trick stuff, but yeah. Um then like I said, um um, but yeah, this one's probably easy, the next one will probably be harder for part 3, I guess. They're right here, the new guy, destruction event, um, Fury's just sitting typing, I think he has, like, the, um, Fury mode, Champa, um, of course, the fifth guy, destruction universe. Again, this is gonna go in order, so yeah, part, um, 3 we're gonna have, yeah, Diff is signing up, because part 3 becomes the last four guy destructions. I think I have, like, Belmon, I think they call him Belmont in the story event? I think they need to change that, because it's got, like, Belmont and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, because the Belmont is called, the Belmont, they just mentioned that in the Dragon Ball Super Story event for the Universe 11 one. They really need to change that because it's called Belmont. Not Belmont yeah. It's pretty much different part two though, like I said. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, the 6-6 ticket, Master Roshi's LR, a lot of new free play units getting awakenings. There's a lot of doing here. Um, I just didn't realize I was going to actually make a good video for it though. But yeah, it's really good roundup for there. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, like I said though. So yeah, see, I got another one that I want to record really quick. So see you guys later though. Thanks for so watching. Have a great day. Where like, oh, could you again though? Stay safe, wash your hands. God bless all of you. If you're going out, if you're planning to go out, or even get groceries or whatever, but Make sure to wear a mask, stay safe, and stuff like that again. So, what you guys think about Barbara Do you like it? Do you hate it? There's a lot of stuff to still do, though. Um, again, like I said, the hype kind of did cool down a little bit, though. But I'm gonna do a lot of good because video next after this. Um, again, by the time this goes up, I already have all these videos already. Um, but yeah, like I said previously, though, um, to the quote, I Um, part two, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff still here to do, which is, um, it's the hype again, though, it's kind of cooled down a little bit because part two is kind of a little bit more calm. Part one's a lot of hype, then part Three is gonna probably have a lot more, like the slash was really underwhelming this year. If I get to a lot more, so yeah, just another video, but so yeah, see you guys later though. Can though, cause out.